Sorry, Emma. <laughs> oh, look at my hand. Okay. Are we crooked? A little bit. Now, don't look at yourself. It's really hard, but don't look at yourself. Look at that green dot. What green dot? The green oh. dot. Because <laughs> if you look anywhere other than the green dot, you're not making eye contact. <laughs> oh, look at the mini mouse head. All right. Oh, my head hurts so bad. Hi, everybody. I'm back with another yarn haul video um, with my daughter here, my, my oldest girl, Emma. And um, I didn't have intentions of doing another clearance yarn haul, but um, I went back to Hobby Lobby and, well, fate had me bring some more yarn home. And then I thought, well, if Hobby Lobby is having sales, then the other craft stores are probably clearancing out a lot of their yarn as well. So um, I did stop by Joanne Fabrics and went away with nothing and then went to Michael's and got a lot there too. So I have a lot to show you and believe it or not, I didn't even put a dent in the amount of clearance yarn that these stores had. So I did leave some out there for you. And I'm sorry, my hip is killing me right now. So I'm going to be adjusting quite a bit this video. Do some <laughs> yoga. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll stop complaining now. Um, my first haul from Hobby Lobby. Yeah, that helps. So you don't have to do everything I do. <laughs> my first haul from Hobby Lobby. Um, were you with me? Yeah, you were with me because I was piling it on you. Yeah, yeah. I refused to get a cart because I'm like, if I don't get a cart, then I can't get as much. She was going to get a cart halfway through. <laughs> Didn't I get a cart? No. No, she wouldn't let me get a cart. She, <laughs> she's, a, she's not an enabler, um, but she did enable uh, my habit a little bit because we kept piling on yarn and she was like, I can fit it here. And <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's what you saw in my first haul video. Um, and that time we went through, um, I think I had all of you kids with me, um, but it was a quick trip. We went through and we went through all the aisles and all the clearance was just kind of in amongst all of the yarn. And then the second trip that I did, they had put it, um, it had been picked through so much that they were able to put most of it like on its own little end cap. So that's where I was uh, shopping this last time. And I looked at all this stuff and I thought, I don't think I even saw that last time. So they've got a lot of yarn. So um, I did find some really good stuff. I'm excited to use some new stuff I've never um, used, seen before, used before that we've kind of had our eye on for a while. So some of that really expensive yarn that now we're able to afford because some of those I refuse to spend that money on unless I know for sure I'm going to like it. So we will get started. Um, I'll get started with the Hobby Lobby stuff. Oh, did you double knot these? No, <laughs> I don't even remember tying these together. Did I double knot them? I felt like you did. Trying to keep cats out. I would rip them, but these are nice big bags that I'm going to need for a little bit until I get this stuff organized. Um, I, I do have another video. Yeah, thank you. I do have another video coming. Um, it's my current yarn stash. We live in a really tiny home. And by tiny home, I mean not an actual tiny home. That would be cool, but we don't. We just live in a very small house. <laughs> very small square footage and none of it makes any sense like a tiny home would. Um, but uh, my tiny home does not accommodate my yarn addiction um, or any of my craft supply addiction. So. I have taken out, with the help of um, Emma, because she's great at organizing, I have taken out um, a lot of my current yarn stash and we're going to be going through it. And um, she's crocheting a lot more these days, so she doesn't know it yet, but she's gonna get quite a bit of that yarn as well. Um, and a lot of the stuff that I got here is for her too. Um, so anyway, that's gonna be a completely whole other video because I have so much to go through here. Um, and even though I do have an addiction and it's a little bit of hoarding, there are some yarns that I've held on to for years, but I really enjoy looking at it and I'm afraid to use it. Um, but most of the stuff I do plan on using. Um, 
and I do have a lot of people in my family that knit and crochet so um, it's always nice to have a little bit of a stash for everybody to look through and choose stuff to make so I don't know when it will be but eventually this stuff will get used okay so let's start with okay we have this yarn bee brand so this is hobby lobby and hobby lobby carries yarn bee and this is called fireplace comfort oh it's really soft oh yeah and the colors are great too i like the green it's almost like a camouflage coloring um so this one the original price is $8.99 we got it for two dollars and 24 cents it is you get 5.3 ounces, which is 150 grams. Um, that equals out to 229 yards, 210 meters, if you measure that way. Uh, we're from Indiana, so we do yardage in ounces. Um, this is 70% acrylic and 30% wool. So this is a pretty soft wool. It's not very scratchy at all. I like that. And I was able to get, oh yeah. I'm in my own little world here. Show them. Yeah, so I got four skeins of that colorway. Oh, what was the colorway? Grown. I like brown, I've, but with a G. Grown. Grown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> this is why I brought her on. <laughs> Ground. <laughs> Ground, like brown, only with a G. <laughs> Ivy grown. <laughs> okay, that's, you know what, now this yarn already has a story. We're going to love it. It may end up being a scarf one day, but we're going to be like, that's the ground scarf. <laughs> okay, um, so we got another colorway of the same type of yarn, which is the Fireplace Comfort. And um, original price, $8.99, got it for $2.24. And this one, do you want to try that one this time? <laughs> Horizon. <laughs> you keep forgetting the first word. Where do you see a first? Oh, hazy horizon. <laughs> hazy horizon. Hazy. This um, is a pretty color. I, I know. I like this. I, I figured you would like these because they're, she likes neutrals. She doesn't like bright colors so much. I love the bright colors. Um, so we can usually find something that works for both of us. Um, so this one, all the same information on there, just a different colorway. So we got two of that color. And then this is the other fireplace comfort, all the same stats. Would you like me to do this one? <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> this one's called veiled amethyst. Yeah, I wouldn't have got that. Were you sweating a little bit on that one? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, I, I'm, I'm, I know, I'm on a lavender kick right now. I just think all, all the purples right now are great, especially the light purples. So, um, we got this Ooh, lavender soft. color. I know, it's amazing. This is Yarn Bee Tender Touch in lavender. <laughs> Uh, originally $3.99, so it's pretty reasonable to begin with, um, but on sale for $0.99. Cents. So I know we can, I think this would make some really cute hats or a hat scarf set if you made like a yeah. skinnier scarf or anything. Um, I've seen goodies. some, yeah, I've seen some other people take some of this fuzzy soft stuff and make um, stuffies, like stuffed animals. Oh, so wouldn't that, that make, cute. wouldn't that make like a cute hippopotamus or something? I know. That's so cute. Ooh, we should do exciting. that. I know. <laughs> Did you already put it up there? Yeah. Okay. Um, and this one's got a pattern on the label. I'm not sure I like that, but mm. sometimes there's some good patterns on the labels. But this is three ounces or 85 grams. You get 135 yards and 123 meters. It's 100% acrylic and it's a five bulky. Oh, we didn't do that on this one. This is a four, the fireplace comfort kind. It's a size four worsted. And did we do anything else? Nope, those are the only two we've done. Okay. 
This is so fun. I have never used anything like this and it's attracting it's, all the stuff. It's really soft. Oh, it's so soft. And the colors are really pretty. Like if it wouldn't fall apart, I could just use this as a pillow on itself. Smells not terrible, but I don't recommend. <laughs> um, so this is jumbo size seven. I've never used anything this big, um, probably because it's nineteen dollars for a hundred and twenty yards. I don't know. That feels I like if... yeah. it's gonna it's gonna go farther than I think it is. So uh, it is originally nineteen ninety nine. We got it for four ninety nine. And how many did we get? Three. Yep. Okay, so we got three of these. Um, I think I got everything they had in this this collar, which is Field of Blooms. I love I love the names of yarns. They're it's so fun. Um, but this one, it's you know, it's it's like that roving. It's got that unfinished look to it. It's not twisted. Um, and so I think I'll try my hand at hand crocheting <laughs> because um, I do have a large hook, but I don't know. I've, I've never done hand knitting or hand crocheting. So I may do that with this and I'm, we might be able to get like a small little lap blanket or something, something cute to hang over like the end of the bed, I think. And I think this is a good compromise between you and I. Yeah. As definitely. far as colors. Cause it's like all the colors. It doesn't exactly pop, but it's not like crazy. She doesn't like crazy. It's not blinding my eyeballs. Yeah, I like crazy. Um, but this is Yarn Bee brand as well. It's Chunky Spiral it's called Field of Blooms. It's 17 and a half ounces and 120 yards. So lots of fiber there, but not very long. Uh, let's see. And I already said it was jumbo. It is 60% acrylic, 28% polyamide, and 12% wool. So, looks like you need to hand wash this, don't dry it, don't iron it, that sort of thing. So, um, I always have a hard time buying things that I can't machine wash as well because we have pets and, you know, if we use it at all in the living room, um, we keep our bedrooms closed up to the pets, but if we use something like this in the living room, I feel like we'd have to wash it all the time. So we'd have to make something and either gift it or put it, just keep it in the bedrooms, which isn't a problem, but that's why I typically don't go for this sort of thing. Cause this would felt up in a machine. So I'm really excited to try this one because if it wasn't on clearance, I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't be trying it anytime soon. Okay. I have used this yarn before and I believe I got something similar, not necessarily this color, but um, the same type of yarn in the haul a couple weeks ago. It's about a month ago now. Those are cute. I know. I figured you'd like this one too. I got everything that she just loves. So I haven't figured out what I'm giving you yet though. The colors are definitely pretty. You'll have to rate them which ones you like most to let me know. <laughs> let me know how much you love them. <laughs> so these are Yarn Bee Chloe, and this color is Spring Petals. Originally $6.99, got for $1.74. And I've used this before and made a hat out of one. So, um, but I was okay paying $6.99 for one hat. So like this will be something where I can make something bigger out of this yarn. And that, that's exciting for me. You get three and a half ounces and 270 yards. And the tag is on the inside. It's hard to see. So that's a hundred grams and 247 meters. It's 70% wool and 30% viscose. Um, this is another one that you need to hand wash and it's size four. So those are so pretty. I love those colors. I love it because you could make something springy with it or it could be, you know, something for fall, any time of year for this one. Love it. 
Okay, let's throw these back in this bag. So much yarn! <laughs> oh, that's so soft. Nothingness. Stay. Okay, this is the other one that um, I probably would never try unless I got it on clearance. Um, it's originally $21.99. Uh, we got it for $5.74 and we got four of them. It is Yarn B Turin in Antique Rose. It is 17.6 ounces or 500 grams. You get 270 yards or 247 meters. It's 75% acrylic, 15% nylon, 10% wool. Um, this is another one where you're going to have to hand wash it. And it is a size 6 bulky. And this one kind of has the, it's a little tighter than the, the mm -hmm. other. Um, it's not exactly roving, but it's just like a really loose really loose um, thing. <laughs> Here, if you can see it. Thanks. She's got longer arms than me. <laughs> but I love those colors with the, the gray and the light pink and the creamy color. It's like a creamy gray where it all comes together. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to see how that turns up, spins up, not spins, crochets up. I don't spin. I don't spin yarn. I tried once. <laughs> That's all I need to try two or three more times or four or five and practice. Um, but that one, I want to make a blanket out of that one. That's all that's in that bag. For myself. Okay, this one. Um, it's just some regular old gray yarn. It's Nature's Nook. And the color is coin. It's kind of cute. I like the color of a nickel. Is it soft? Yeah, it's pretty soft. This one has like, it's the, the way it's spun, it's not uniform. You've got bits and pieces that come up like it's, it looks like it's snagged a little bit. I don't know if you can see that very well. Can you see it? A little bit. So parts of it are like wider where it looks like it didn't spin as tight and then parts of it look like regular old yarn. So I think that would have like a pretty cool effect once you um, make it into something. And this one's three and a half ounces, 100 grams. You get 180 yards or 165 meters, 54% acrylic, 28% lyocell. I don't know what that is. And 18% flax. Maybe like the seed? Okay. I don't know my symbols very well, but you can definitely hand wash it. It looks like you can machine wash it. I don't know what that A is, but you can't iron it, which is fine. I don't iron my crocheted stuff, my projects. And this is a size four. We got it for $1.37 and it's originally $5.49. So I only got one of those, but I always feel like a nice standard color like that. It would make a nice little hat or set of gloves or something. And then this one is, oh, I'm this one's called, this one has a scent. It's not bad. It smells like a yarn store. Well, it is yarn. <laughs> <laughs> this is the soft standard in the color fern leaves. $4.99 originally. We got it for $1.24. I love this green color. It's so pretty. It's three and a half ounces, 100 grams, 200 yards, or 183 meters. And the fuzzies are coming off on my nose. It's 70% acrylic and 30% polyamide. It is a size three weight. And um, you can do all kinds of things with this. You can even iron it. So I got three of those. I don't know exactly what we would make, but I think that's enough for, you know, at least a nice wide scarred, <laughs> nice wide scarf. 
I never claim to be able to talk. Okay, the reason I went into the store is to finish getting the colors I need for the temperature blanket. Um, I should have a video going up soon on that, an update of how far behind I am. But these are all the warmish weather colors. Those are cute. I know, It's. I think it's gonna look really good together. Um, so I got these for 30% off. Um, I have so many of these going into the blanket and these are originally $5 a piece. So that would be a very pricey blanket if I got them full price, if I paid full price. But my favorite basic yarn is I love this yarn. It's so soft in comparison to like Red Heart. And you know, I know a lot of people love Red Heart, but um, I am very picky when it comes to... I feel like Red Heart's kind of scratchy. It is. They have like Red Heart Soft, which I think is more comparable to this. Um, but regular Red Heart is not too soft. And I'm very picky when it comes to textures. Like, it, very, it really bothers me. <laughs> so all of my yarns have to be soft yarns. I cannot work with anything scratchy. Like, I try to work with wool like 100% wool and I have a really hard time with it um, if I do that I have to have a little bottle of lotion and constantly be putting lotion on my hands because if I have any pieces of dry skin sticking up and it gets caught on my I can't I can't stick it like I won't let the kids buy certain no. textures of clothes because I have to wash she'll them she'll fill the clothes before we get yeah. them and, and if like... they have to have it I'll say you're washing it. <laughs> <laughs> which now they're old enough they do that anyway but um so this one is, I want to say the names. Oh, Aubergine. Of course I get the one that's hard to pronounce is the first one. Aubergine. I don't know. I hope that's right. Uh, Aubergine. Do you want me to try to say it? Aubergine. 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 One of those. Um, yeah. So all of these are usually like the same size. It's a size four. Um, you can wash it and all that good stuff. Can't iron it. You get seven ounces or 199 grams, 355 yards, 325 meters. So if you haven't tried this yarn, I highly recommend trying it if you need a good basic yarn because it's very reasonably priced, especially if you do the 30% off, um, which usually ends up being like what, every other week or whatever at Hobby Lobby. So not bad. I think but, I started off with that yarn when I first started. Yes, I know. I'm always like, try this yarn, try this <laughs> yarn. <laughs> and there's so many colors. This one's called Tropical Pink. Oh, I was very excited about that one. And this one, I love peachy colors. This one's, one's really called pretty. Mango. Yeah. It's such a pretty color. I'm excited about these all together. And then this one is yellow. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. We'll call it yellow. banana. <laughs> this one is called Fire Red. And this was like a prettier shade than the regular red. So I like that the, the um, pattern per se that I'm using went with fire red instead of red. And then I'm excited about this one too. Ooh, yeah, lemon ice. Isn't that so pretty? It's like bright and neon and kind of buttery, but not really because it's lemony. It's so pretty. Okay. That's all the Hobby Lobby. Okay. Yeah. Now let's do the Michaels. Okay, so when I yarn shop, if I'm not doing like a um, local yarn shop when we have one in business, they go out of business so often here in my area. I have to drive quite a distance to get to a local yarn shop. Um, so I don't do a whole lot of um, fancy yarns. Um, hand spun yarns, those sort, sorts of things because I don't have a really good place to shop for them unless I'm out on a trip. So when we go on vacation, I always try to find a bookstore and a yarn shop so that I can check out those sorts of things when I'm out and about. Um, where was I going with this? Oh, Michael. so I love those types of yarns, but I don't always get the opportunity to 
get those yarns all the time so I'll go on Etsy occasionally but it's it's hard to find like I like to touch it and I need to know how soft it is <laughs> before I can work with it um so a lot of my yarns I typically get at Hobby Lobby one because I feel like they're very reasonably priced compared to the other craft stores around here um and if I go when it's on sale then I can get all of my yarn for 30% off instead of you know the other places it's really hard because like you have a, a coupon that'll work for like one skein well what if i need like 30. we all need 30 right <laughs> so i don't typically go to the other stores but i wanted to check around and see what they have on clearance because then obviously they're going to be better priced so went to michael's never seen this before so if you shop at michael's this is probably not news to you <laughs> this is amazing like i want to put my makeup on with it <laughs> it's yeah oh, it's that's nice karen latte cakes it's amazing it's okay extremely soft if this wasn't so soft the only part that might turn me away is the fuzziness of it because um i'm not really sure what that's gonna look like once it's worked up but the price that I got, I was able to get enough that I can do like some sort of size blanket with it. And I think this would, the fuzziness wouldn't bother me if it was a blanket. If it was a sweater, like I just don't do fuzzy sweater stuff. So, um, or maybe now I might, I may have to have this on me all the time. <laughs> the only shirt I ever wear. <laughs> Underwear. <laughs> But this stuff is like amazingly soft. Like I don't care how dry my hands are. This is never going to get caught on any dry skin. It's so soft. Okay. Anyway, moving on. I got distracted. This is um, Karen Latte Cakes. Like I said, it is 58% acrylic, 42% nylon. You get 8.8 .8 ounces, 250 grams, which is 530 yards or 485 meters. Oh, and the name. It's called Kissy Kissy. That's just so cute. Maybe because you want to put it on your lip because it's so soft. Um, it is bulky size five. I think this would work up into a blanket very quickly. I'm just really excited about that one. How many did I get? Oh, not enough. I got four. I'll make a small something. Make a shirt. <laughs> I can definitely make, make some underwear. underwear. <laughs> <laughs> well, I definitely bought everything they had with that. Because if they had like a million of those, I would just make the biggest blanket ever and wrap up in it all the time. I don't know where this came from and why it keeps coming out. <laughs> Okay, so the other thing I got, and I've used this before, and I don't realize, I didn't realize that I got it at Michael's, and I must have paid full price for it, or, oh, I remember what I did. I used the coupon every time I went into the store. <laughs> I didn't buy all the yarn at once. I would go one um, skein at a time, which is not a good thing to do, because you want to get the same dye lot in the colorway, so everything matches, but this was like a... $12.99, $11.99 or $12.99 skein of yarn. And I made her sister a dress out of it. And it I will put beautiful. a picture. I love that dress. And she, I made it for Easter one year and she's worn it how many years now? Like four? Yeah. She just now grew out of it because it, like it stretched pretty well. And she would wear it every Easter. I'd say, don't you want a new dress? She's like, no, I want to wear this one. So she wears it every Easter. So this is the first Easter she hasn't been able to fit into it. So I love the way this feels. It's so soft. It's Karen Cotton Cakes. And it is... I just had a squirrel moment. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> So I looked at the name of it. 
Oh, okay. So I looked at another one of these skeins there, not this color, a different color. And it said, I loved it. I loved what the color was and I saw it and it was in the wrong spot and it wasn't actually on sale and it was called Calico Flowers. And then this pattern is made with Calico Flowers. And for a second, I thought I bought Calico Flowers and I'm like, did I pay $12.99 for one skein of Calico Flowers? But I didn't. It's just the pattern. Anyway, that was my scroll moment. But what I was going to say, I don't know what I was going to say, but what I'm going to say now is that this is driftwood, the color driftwood. And it's pretty. It's got like a, is that like a grayish green, you think? Maybe like a brown, but. Gray, grayish, greenish, brown? Yeah, definitely. That's hard to tell. But it's very pretty. I love how it goes with the other um, lighter, more um, warm colors. So you've got like that pinkish red and then a lighter pinky peach. Yeah, I think that's so pretty. Um, and I have three, three of those because I think this is a different one. Yes, this is a different color. So I have three of these and that dress that I made her required six. So whatever I'm making, if, I mean, I can start making me a shirt and then if it ends up being a crop top, whatever, <laughs> I don't know. But um, this is another yarn I wouldn't mind having against my skin. It's, and it's um, a cotton, oh, that's what I was gonna tell you. It's a cotton blend. It's 60% cotton, 40% acrylic. I feel like I've said that before. Anyway, 60% cotton, 40% acrylic, and 8.8 .8 ounces, 250 grams, 530 yards, 485 meters. And this is machine washable and dryable, dryable, machine washable and dryable. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's just so soft. Like I love cotton blends for clothes, especially summer clothes. So this dress I'm talking about, I will put a picture up if I haven't already on there. Um, mm -hmm. I'll put it up again. How's that? Um, it's like a tie tank toppy. It's a summer dress. So, and this isn't too heavy. Once you get it worked up, it's still pretty light. So it's, it's nice for clothing. Okay. So we got three of those and those were Oh, each of these, I didn't say how much. They're normally like $12 or $13 a skein, and they were $5 each. So still very reasonable. Um, and then this is also a Cotton Cakes in the color Blush and Bloom. And this has also got the brownish. Yeah. Yeah, that is brown. Brownish colors with pinks and creams. Got that for me. Okay, we're getting there, guys. We're almost, we're almost there. Okay, this one for sure is yours. That one's cute. Because it's a little boring <laughs> for yeah. my taste. And it's soft, I like it. but not soft enough for me to want to work with it. But it was two bucks. And her school colors are blue and gold. And this is blue with specks of gold. And I think that she'll probably make some blue crew stuff with it. Yes, definitely. Gotta keep her warm on those football nights. So this is a Craft Smart um, yarn, which I think is kind of like um, Michael's value brand. Oh, it's value tweed. <laughs> there we go. <sighs> so smart. Um, but this is just like a standard skein. You get 252 yards, five ounces. It's 141 grams, 231 meters. So I totally did that backwards, but. <laughs> um, and there's a cow pattern on this one. Not a cow moo cow, but like a cow. Like, yes. <laughs> she loves cows. Cow, 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 cows. No L. <laughs> moo. <laughs> Um, so there's a pattern for that. Um, and the, I like how the patterns say how much yarn you need. This one says you need two balls. So even though that's great, can't make it with this. Cause I was only able to find one. And what's the color of that one? Does it have a fun name? Blue Marine. I wasn't going to try to say that. That's not spelled like blue. 
It's spelled B L E U. Is that how it's spelled? B L E U. Yeah. Okay, this is not yarn, um, but I got her little sister a mosaic craft kit because um, their summer crafts were um, the Createology brand is on sale right now for seventy percent cool. off. So. Um, whenever we can get something cheap like that, she loves to do crafty stuff. Okay, this stuff, so excited about. Okay, so you know how I said I went to Joann's and didn't get anything? Well, it's because I went there and I wasn't crazy about any of their yarns. They had clearance yarns, but they weren't like super cheap. Um, so there weren't any yarns that I was crazy about that I would still pay that price for. But when I was looking through all the rest of their yarns, because I'm not typically in there for yarn, I'm in there a lot for fabric. I'm in there a lot for fabric, but not yarn. So I wanted to check out what they have just so I know. Um, because there's still some things that I might pay full price for if I really, really love it. So I really, really love this, but I was already buying a lot of yarn, so I didn't get it. But it's the lion brand ice cream yarn i've seen it a lot on youtube from other people's hauls and all of their i love the names you got me on the advertisements because this is cool blue blue glacier cool blue blue glacier <laughs> it's it's regular blue and then it's b l e u again glacier so just a really pretty um ombre like pattern and it's the uh, roving type. What is the name on it, actually? It's ice cream roving divigation, divigation. Um, but all of the different colorways are like different types of dessert names. Um, if I had the choice between all of them, this probably wouldn't be my first choice. But I found this at Michael's for $3. And it's like a $12 skein of yarn. Yeah, $12. It's $11.99 originally. So I was like, oh, I have to have this because then I can try it. And if I really, really love it, then I can get the other colorways that I really like. And I would be okay paying the price because I know exactly what I'm getting. Um, I have used similar yarns that feel a lot like this and that are the same size. And I've liked those pretty well. Um, the only thing about this type of yarn, um, the roving, is when you start to... Like if you mess up and have to pull it out, sometimes it gets snagged and knotted really bad. So you just have to be careful with that. Um, but this is 100% acrylic. The other yarns that I've used have been like um, natural fibers. So this is the first um, man-made fiber that I've used in this sort of spin, spun, spin thread thing. I don't know how to talk. <laughs> so you get seven ounces with this, 200 grams, 437 yards, and it is a size four. So even though it's $12, you get a lot of yarn in this. Like they've packed a lot in here. Pretty solid. It doesn't squish down a whole lot. There's a lot there. So um, I forget what color it is, but there's one that I've got my eye on. So I need to figure out what I'm making. And maybe try this one first. Make a baby hat and some booties. I know you can make a baby set with this. A little dress with booties and a hat. Or a little headband with a bow. Oh, it would be so cute. I have a boot pattern. I have like a rain boot pattern. It would be so cute. Okay. It doesn't take much to get me distracted. I've been wanting to try these. Um, it's pretty soft yarn. Um, I got this one at Michael's and it is, um, I've seen more colorful ones, but I had this one in mind <laughs> when I bought this. <laughs> the girl who does not like color. <laughs> um, it's a pretty uh, brownish gray color that I think if, cause she's learning patterns, she's super fast. And if it's a basic stitch, like she will blow you out of the water if you're racing. Like she's super fast. Um, but now we're working on different types of stitches and reading different patterns. So um, I think getting started on an intermediate type pattern that's got kind of some decoration in it 
uh, will make the plain color of this really, um, it would look really nice together. Because sometimes if you got too much of a pattern with like a multicolored yarn, it takes away one from the other. So I think this will look good for her to practice some patterns on. So got this one. And one, two, so three, four, beautiful. Five. I think we got amazing. We've got six of those in all in all. So I think she's she can make a pretty good sized throw with it. Pretty afghan. So if you guys have any pattern recommendations that you think this would look good in, um her bedroom is like neutral. boho themed ish. Yeah, it's neutral, earthy tones. It's neutral. It has no color. Um <laughs> there's some color in there. <laughs> There's green my, my, because of her plants. <laughs> my stuffed animals have color. Oh, yeah. She's got a Winnie the Pooh in there. And a Solly. Oh, my gosh. You do have color. Yeah, I do. <laughs> so, she's got some of these blue colors. Um, okay. So, she's got a little bright. bit of color. But um, mostly, it's like the, the natural stuff. So. Relaxing. Calm. Yes. Yes. I go in her room sometimes and just hang out because it is nice. So um, <laughs> if you have any recommendations on what um, what this would look good in, just leave us a comment um, and I'll have to talk her into it. She may need a little encouragement and boost because I Some think, motivation. yeah, bring in the, yeah, school's about to start again. She's into sports, but it'll only take you two minutes to make it. Okay, so all these are like falling apart open. Um, but I think the thing with these is that once you get them started, like it's not supposed to not not Is not supposed to, to knot like up. I don't really know. I may have to watch a video to figure it out. If you look or watch the picture. Oh, it comes out of the center. You take it apart. Oh, oh my goodness! You cut it. I don't know. Huh. We look pretty silly right now. I'm sure. Oops. But there's there's a lot of yarn here, and it's really soft. I don't I may have to keep this for myself. You can make my blanket. <laughs> oh. Now that is a top bun. Yes. Oh my gosh. Do people have these big buns? Who am I? Princess Leia. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. These are some great earrings. <laughs> okay, now we're now we're like whose line is it anyway? Improv. <laughs> it does look good. It looks like a top bun. Top knot, yeah. Okay, so the specs on this one. It is Karen Big Donut. I wonder how they got that name. They need some sprinkles. I know. Um it says new format. I don't know. I'm not familiar with it. I didn't know the old format. Um, but it is Oh Go Tangle Free Quick Start. Um, and it looks like in about five hours you could make the scarf that's on this. And so maybe this is enough for a scarf. So I think we got enough yarn that you can make something decent, decent sized. It's 100% acrylic. It is a... Uh, worsted weight the size four um you can put it in the washing machine and dryer you get 9.9 .9 ounces 280 grams 502 yards or 459 meters so there's quite a bit in this and the color what's the color brown chocolate dip I you love see, it. It's not boring. Chocolate dip. <laughs> it is kind of chocolatey. I really love this. I don't want to use it because I keep wanting to use it for props. Anyway, we um, that's the last of everything we got. So um, I'm happy with these uh, clearance finds because typically in the past I will find like one skein here and there. Um, but there was enough of each colorway to Get enough to make like a, a, a good project where um you know you will have enough to do what you want with for the most part so um lots of great colors normally 
Um, I only find those scratchy yarns and ugly colors and not that I, most of the yarn I see, I think is pretty. So she would think half of it's ugly. <laughs> yes. And so it's like, fully made and unless, it looks better. <laughs> unless it's for someone else. Yeah, because other things look great on other people. Yeah, when you don't have to wear everything. It can just be, you know, it could be underwear and you just don't yeah. ever have to show anybody. Mm. Now we're gonna have to make some underwear. Okay, so that's everything we got. Tons of great stuff. This is gonna be a super long video. I apologize for that, but um, we like to talk, at least I do. So thanks for watching. Be sure to like it um, if you like the yarns and um, go check out your local stores because they probably still have stuff on the shelves right now. Um, I think these sales have been going on for over a month in, in my area and there's still lots of great stuff out there. Um, I don't know if the prices are going to go down any lower, but the price, <laughs> but the prices are great. I'm surprised I got the whole sentence out with you doing that. <laughs> So, um, yeah, check it out. See what you can find. Um, if you've already been out and gotten some great stuff uh, and made a video or whatever, link your video below. I'd love to see what you got, too. So, um, like, subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye.